But, uh, you know, in, in my life, I've kind of always wanted to keep my personal life not, not so blatantly on paper and through music, although some of it ekes through, bleeds through. Most of the time I've always tried to keep my, my musical, artistic life kind of separate from my home life, just because, on the other hand, I've written songs to my kids and I recorded it. I, 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 I have melded that together. I have combined that. Uh, but it's not like Bob Dylan where it's blood on the tracks, you know what I'm saying? Mm. And uh, like a lot of people, and it's like it's really intensely personal. Um, I've always wanted to uh, lift people through the music, whether it's instrumental. And there's an album I did back in 2000, about 13 years ago, called Inseparable, that I really found to be uh, an album that basically was to encourage people who had lonely hearts and uh, just feeling kind of disappointed in life. And I wanted to just li give them some encouragement without giving them a lot of sad stories from my side, you know. But people are, there are some people that are really good at doing that. Like Joni Mitchell was good at that, you know. And uh, various people knew how to pour out their guts. And people said, oh, I relate to that. You know, um, from a lyric point of view, I've always just wanted to lift up God and lift up Christ and, and let them know that there's good news and there's hope, you know.